last year the press seat praise on the debut single and album from ultra vivid scene they've now got a new single out called the mercy seat so i spoke to kurt rolski to find out whether ultra vivid scene was still a one-man operation or not up until now it has been just me i, I did the record on my own i recorded all the instruments on, on my own uh, produced it myself but since then uh, i've been working with the band and on the new record, there's, there's more, much more of the, the balance input. And uh, I'm hoping in the future that people will think of it as, as a group and not just one weird guy from New York, you know. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So is it escapism for you then? Escapism. I think for, um, for everyone it's escapism. And uh, for me, the way I work, um, I do rely a lot on my fantasies, sex fantasies, dreams. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe because it is an, an expression of what, you know, what I, I wish I had more of my life, you know, I'm, satisfied with my life and want something else and that's how everyone feels and maybe because the songs are coming from my you know uh my fantasies they, they can fulfill someone else's fantasies i don't know <laughs> do you think that you're seen in a more romantic light because you're from new york because in a way if you're from a really untrendy village in britain mm. Do you think you'd have so much attention? Uh, could be, but it's true that there's something different about New York. I mean, if, if you um, haven't been to New York or you haven't lived in New York, there's no way that you can explain what it's really like. And to be in New York is really um, different than, I mean, like, you're probably right, yeah, if I did come from, you know, up north or something, it, there wouldn't be as much attention. But, if I came from up north, I wouldn't be doing what I was doing. I mean, New York is a, is a big influence on, on what I'm doing. When I'm in the mercy see I smile And then my weapons scan All I ask is for release No matter what the cost There's only one way To bring a new day Apply the heat that gently I played a lot of different sorts of music. I, um, I used to play jazz like when I was a teenager. And I, I played in all different sorts of bands in New York, like noise bands and um, you know, sort of different pop bands too and I played in hardcore bands too, actually. And um, I, at a certain point, I started really getting interested in, in 60s music. Like, what was happening to like, you know, 65 to 1970 was, was really fascinating. It, it, it's never happened since. I really think that was like the golden age of pop music. And um, about, that was like just a bit before I came over to London. When I came over to London, I met all these groups that were also just as interested in that same sort of music. But what we had in common was that we didn't want to just reproduce that sort of thing. We all wanted to take that and do something completely new with it. And that's what like I have in common with, with, with the groups you mentioned, like Bonnie Valentine, Mary Chain. I mean, uh, we all you know have the same influences, but we're all taking that and making it very, you know, 1989, something, doing something new with that, that sort of material. <laughs> There's um, a question I've got here about the stories in print always seem mm -hmm. more exciting than um, what, not necessarily what you've actually done, but when you read it, do you ever think that can't be me because it's been blown out of all proportion by the, the oh, press? Do you know when, I, when I read the press? No, when you read your own press, do you ever yeah. think, that's not about me or...? Oh, of course. I know it's not me. I mean, it's just about 
you know, lies I've made at the same interviews or um, lies I've, I've put in my press kit or what somebody would like to believe about me or a lot of times interviewers write about themselves and then they put the words in your mouth or it's got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. and that's okay too. You know. It makes it easier, easier for me because I can go live my life in peace and, and not have to deal with... I try to get confused about um, I'm the person they're writing about because I know it's not me. I don't want them to write about me either. I'm not nearly as interesting as what they read about. So. And how much of this interview is about you and not oh, about you? Uh, I don't know. It's are you, are you lying at all in this interview? I could be, maybe. <laughs> Rachel was talking to Kurt there from Ultra Vivid Scene. I hope they come and play near me soon because I think they're marvellous.